Since we have 11 kills. Is this right? And we're at 12% novice. Let's see where we might be. No, nope, we're in the crater. And we're almost 10 kilometers from Dev's Hope. While we're waiting on our sensor, we might make up some time toward Dab's Hope. Well, we're not so far away. And we'll do our turnarounds to... We've gained 4% since I left Sothis. We've cut off about a kilometer our distance from Dav's Hope. Not meaning we're going to get there. Just letting our back radar populate and cut down some of the distance. It's over this mountain side. On the other side is Dav's Hope. Cut off another kilometer. I don't think that's Dav's Hope signature, but it could be. Cut off a total of three kilometers distance away from Dab's Hope. It was like nine and a half when we first started. I was saying I'm not trying to get to Dab's Hope, but I wanted to cut some of the distance off. We were so far away, down to about a half a tank, before we'll have to call the ship back. And I just, it's kind of rough and all of that here. Cut about three and a half kilometers off. Cut off about four. It's like there's something to the left of Dav's Hope over here. Could be those planes, those uh, ships. To that circle Dav's Hope. But this signal's a little bit too strong for that, I think. Yep, we got a trespass zone.
Wanted, wanted, wanted. I was wondering what those ships will do that circle Dav's Hope. And we might find out <laughs> if they come over here. Occupied escape pod. Probably not going to pick those up this time. We'll let somebody else pick them up. Again, I do appreciate you coming along. Sis lights. Sis lights. And this is going to be, could be a several day event in the day to day grind. Of course, it's a grind. Because uh, skimmers, um, stingers don't uh, pay very much or add a whole lot to your ranking. So it could take a little while. It is, the, to me, probably the easiest of all of the combat. So make sure you press that uh, subscribe button down the video to the right. I can really use that with YouTube and it doesn't cost you anything but it helps me with YouTube. And watch more of my videos on my uh, YouTube page, GFM underscore RDG. And there's an about tab on that on my uh, YouTube page. It talks about drawings, giveaways, promotions, things like that. So it's not that I'm ending this video yet. It's it's going to be an ongoing, as I said for a little while. Those upper blips are probably Dav's Hope. I'm just trying to make sure those are not Dav's Hope upper blips. toward the mountains. See if they are still up there.
blips that we're getting in front of us. I don't know if they're part of Dav's Hope or not. And they could be. So we're headed toward the mountains. And we'll get more clarification on that. I'm starting to think it's all Dav's hope. have plenty of bullets and plenty of fuel at the moment. I haven't seen retaliation for going after skimmers and stingers, but you never know. Keep our eyes and ears open. And watch the radar. And we're always ready to go back to the main menu if we have to. Puts us in a situation that we're not comfortable with. Now, all of my videos are based on the perspective of a trader explorer, not a combat guy. Combat people are welcome. You might see something in trade and exploring that helps them out too. Because there is three elite statuses that you can get. One in trade, one in explorer, one in combat. I have the two for trade and explore. I already have that one. Those two. Will I ever get one for combat? I don't know. These are legal, so you can pick them up. It is from a destroyed SRV. See, someone else might have been doing what we're doing. And his luck ran out. at that last crash site. But I would, I mean it would be cool to have triple elite status. Now even if I got elite in uh, combat doesn't mean I'm really that elite in combat. It would probably all be from skimmers and stingers and things and guardian sentinels and things. Be from easier stuff. It's just I have to do more of that stuff. Come out here to Dav's Hope and run around the planet a lot for days, weeks. But we went from 8% to 12% on our combat rating. And novice.
and I knew it was going to be a grind. And I knew it was probably going to be this kind of grind. Just got to keep going. And I'll let you tag along and uh, it'll probably take up to 10 or 15 episodes and we'll just keep going. And I enjoy the company. I have to give the engines a little more power if they start struggling. Oh, there's our trespass zone inside of the cliff. Well, that's where we're headed. And I keep an eye up too for those chips that circle Dav's Hope. Looking for cover. We have a at least one wanted. We'll come over here and see if this heel is going to work for us. Maybe not. We're looking for any kind of cover we can find. And we can shoot them from a distance. And there might be enough here. Want to make sure. Wanted. 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 Okay. Just wanting to make sure, make sure. Again, they didn't get a shot off. And they're going to all roll down the mountain. Okay. This left. Is this right? Now we're 
at thir we're at thirteen percent. Um, it seems like a long grind to get co the combat rank, but hey, I'm an elite explorer. That's a grind. Even with the road to riches, it's a grind. I mean, it just takes forever, it seems like, to get that. Well, this is about the same as the Explorer ranking. Unless you're a top-notch gunner. So, you know, there might be some instances where it could be easier. But it's a grind. So, I mean, as they would say, suck it up, buttercup. You know, sometimes we just have to suck it up. And, uh, and go through the grind. And that's what this series is really all about. Is helping you to understand and to go through that grind. See, I've shown you the uh, the trading, making nine million plus per run, even up to twenty-seven million per run. Just making run after run after run. These few past episodes, prior to this one. You'll see that it's just making those runs over and over and over again. Now I'm already elite status, so I'm not trying to build a rank there. But for the the credits, I'm at 5.8, and I went from 5.5 to 5.8, or a little less than 5.5, after buying FSD boosters and stuff. It was like 54.75. And I'm over 5.8 now, and that's that's a grind. And of course, the Explorer ranking is a grind. Use the Road to Riches. That's probably the best way to do it. Website that plots out the uh, systems that you go to and the planets that you scan, and you'll see that there's other planets in those systems that are the same type, the high metal content and the water worlds and the earth-like planets. So you can even do more than it's on that list. Just make sure it's those types of planets. And uh, it takes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And it's a grind. It's all a grind. Working with the engineers is a grind. I know. <laughs> There's a few more I'd kind of like. It's, I'm always weighing, do I really want to go through that? Like I need... I have some asteroid mining videos. And you can watch those. Uh, and I've done about 130 core tons of asteroid mining. I need 500 tons of asteroid mining, and I need to do to give uh, Celine, whatever her full name is. I think Celine's part of it. Um, I have to give her like 500 or 50 tons of painite. So. Definitely a grind. And we're mixing in a little bit of uh, surface gathering or surface mining is what I call it. And going around Dav's Hope. We'll do some of that. And then we'll go out and try to find things to shoot again.
Yep, it says already. There's so much time that has to go by before you can gather it again. And I'm kind of testing those ships that go overhead to see if they know, can tell that I've been shooting skimmers and maybe they're part of the support ships. And this is a grind too, when you do this hundreds of times. This is not our main purpose while we're here. It's just to do a little bit so you see it. Sis lights. Sis lights. This way this time. We are gonna have to call the ship in a little little bit so we can get another SRV. Those upper blips are Dav's hope. Now, as soon as you load your ship or load your uh, SRV onto the ship the integrity you see there under the symbol or the graphic of the SRV this is 93 that's the integrity as soon as you dock the SRV it goes back to 100 so you can even bring it right back out so your ship somehow maintains or does maintenance on your uh, SRV but it won't transfer fuel I even have a spare fuel tank you would think if you had a spare fuel tank it would take some of that and uh, fill your SRVs but it doesn't you have to do that at a station and I don't believe the fuel scooping does it either and we have a satellite nope that's outcrop first I thought it looked like a uh, down satellite We're going to do a little bit of surface mining too. So 
I don't want to get too heavy into the rough areas yet because of the fuel situation. I like using new SRVs to go up into the mountains with. Because I want to make sure our ship has a place to land. This ship's not as bad as my uh, the beginnings Cobra. Oh, that thing's terrible. It will park as far as possible, as ship possible, from where I'm at. I mean, it's like one and a half kilometers all the time. Parks as far as it absolutely can. And there's a possible something this direction and it might be closer to the mountains well we're starting to get quite a few blips back there but again if a ship ever comes at us that looks threatening I'm exiting to the main menu I didn't sign up for that part of it. And since I have that escape button, I'm going to use it. There is some gli glittery look over here. It's usually canisters. And then there's something off to the left, too. Not everything we're finding on that upper radar, or that back radar to the top, is shootable. Well, at least we haven't found as many clean things that we can get in trouble for. All the skimmers and stingers have been wanting. So, that's been a positive. Now this could be, we could have an issue with, uh, with cover. There is something on the back side of it. It looks like it might be cover area. And there was something back here, too. But will it come down enough? That's the question. Wanted. 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 Now, in open areas, when I've tried to shoot at them, when they're all three shooting at you at the same time, it gets pretty rough. Uh, if we can get down... I don't think that's going to be good enough. There is a spot over here, or maybe some spots over here. Might give us some cover. Yeah, like right here. It's kind of far. This might work. Mm 
This might work right here. See, since we only had one, I was willing to move up on it. I was thinking that would be fine. Another occupied escape pod. I just don't want to uh, collect a lot of stuff. Sis lights, sis lights, and now there's ships circling up there, and my question will be, will they take interest in us or not? Are they part of the support ships for the stingers? That is a question. And there's three of them up there. Now we can't go up in the mountains at all now because of our fuel situation. Got to keep an eye out on those ships. See if they're going to show interest in us because of us blasting skimmers and stingers. Is this right? We're at 14%. And sis left. Sis left. And we've killed 20. Yeah, you don't even get 1%. But we just keep pounding them. Part of that grind. You just want to get from novice to competent. That's where I'm trying to get to right now. Don't have to even be an expert or anything like that. And I'm putting some distance between me and those ships at the same time. Now if they leave Dav's Hope to come after us, yeah then things will change. We'll definitely have to go to the uh, main menu.
Well, there's something up there. It's probably an outpost of some sort. We don't have enough fuel to go up there. It's probably an outpost. on the side of that uh, hill. Yeah, I don't want to make that track on as little fuel as we have. Because of my day job, I can't keep it open as long. Is this left? Yeah, Dav's Hope's right there. No ships are staying around Dav's Hope. So normally we'd go check that out. Sis, ship. We can switch out SRVs and we could probably go up there. It's probably a mining outpost on the side of that mountain to the left of us. But we're running low on fuel. So it was limiting us. We have seven more SRVs. this down. So we'll pick another one. Is this down? Now we were down to 13%. And this is a new one. As of this trip, sis lights, sis lights, and it's up there, sis ship. Sis ship. see what that's all about. Could be a ship. Can't tell yet. Could be like a Corvette or something. Or an Anaconda.
come over here and kind of get a better look. Yeah, it's starting to look like a ship. Set the power distribution on our SRV because we are sliding all over the place. <laughs> it looks like a python. Type of ship that I have. Is this left? No, it's, well, it says it's a cobra. It don't look like a cobra. That has to be a cobra behind us. And there's an see there's one down here I'm just wondering if that's a support ship for the uh, trespass zone which always makes me nervous See, that's the best part about uh, being able to go to the main menu and back. Even a potential threat can be taken care of. Sis left. Sensor. Sis lights. Sis lights. Sis lights. Okay. I don't like the lights being on. Then there's another one. Oh, that's a ship. Thought there might be another outpost, but it's a ship. It's those ships that circle. Dabs hope. So if you would, if you look down to the bottom right and select that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And I welcome you to the uh, my Elite Dangerous, the day-to-day -day grind, because that's what it is. It's a day-to-day -day grind, and uh, it's building my combat rating, ranking. Started out at 8% novice. Is this right? Is this right? And I'm at 14% novice. So it's only a 6%. And sis left. Sis left. And we've killed 20 skimmers. And only gotten 6%. So it is a grind. <laughs> it's an absolute grind oh, to try to build rank. It's going to take well over a hundred of them. go back toward Dav's Hope. Well, we got a, f and a, fuel, a full fueled SRV and max uh, weapons, 2,000. So we're doing really good. 
and we got uh, six more to go through before I have to go to a station and load everything back up again. But if you'll check out my YouTube channel page, GFM underscore RDG, and that's at the below the video to the left, where you can find that. About page talks about drawings, giveaways, promotions. But my guess this is going to take a while. I mean, it could take up to like a week to uh, get my ranking where I'd like it. It's one of those things, and my experiences with Elite Dangerous, you have to you do things until you just can't take it anymore. <laughs> Like collecting materials till you just can't take it anymore, like at Dav's Hope and going and relogging, just going over it over and over and over again. And it's just till you can't stand it anymore. Jameson crash site or Guardian surface sites or the Thargoid surface sites. Now I've got videos on all those. Um, just, as long as you can stand it. And me, I have to keep changing what I'm doing. So just because I say that uh, I'll probably do this for a week, who knows how long I would do it. Yeah, I saw an outcrop up there. Say, so, well, let's go ahead and do that one. Like some materials. And we do some looking again to see if there's anything else that's combat oriented. 